I'm Madam Kong. Today we are going to discuss about post lab experiment 1 and pre lab experiment 2. So let's start with post lab experiment 1 first. Okay. Last week we have done the experiment 1 determination of the formula unit of a compound. Now let's discuss about the lab report. First, you must write down the title and objective. So the title of experiment 1, you just copy from the lab manual. So follow exactly determination of the formula you need of a compound. So you get one mark. Next, follow by objective. There are two objectives. To synthesis a zinc chloride compound and to determine the formula you need of zinc chloride. So here you get two marks. Next theory, total 5% 5 marks. So you have to find out 5 points for this theory. So this is a good example. Okay, a quantitative analysis can be used to determine the composition of an unknown compound. So get the first mark. Then, okay, once the composition of the compound is known, its formula unit can be determined. So we get another one mark, and then this student give an example for silver bromide. Okay, our experiment is zinc chloride, and then he give another example silver bromide is acceptable. Okay, and then next in this experiment, a simple compound composed of zinc and chlorine will be prepared. Okay, mention our objective of uh, of this experiment. So once the mass of zinc and the mass of the compound are known, the mass of the chlorine can be determined. So using this mass, the percentage composition of the compound can be calculated and the formula unit can be deduced. So you write down 5 points for the theory part, so we get 2 mark. After the theory, next procedure. Once you, com you change the procedure 1 until 10 with the passive form, and then you can get 5 marks. Next is about result and calculation. So you must jot down the empty crucible with lead mass and the mass of zinc powder. So after, after, after you tear, you don't need to sum up. But here we need to jot down. The sum of the zinc powder and the crucible with lead is 55.0271 gram. And then this is the mass of first heating, then second heating. Okay, and then you check the difference between the first and second heating, not exit 0 0.02. Then the experiment is completed. After that, okay, what is the mass of zinc chloride? So we are using, okay, the mass of the second heating okay, minus the empty crucible with lead. So this is the mass of zinc chloride. If you want to continue to find the mass of the chlorine, so we are using okay the total mass of empty crucible with lead plus zinc powder minus the second heating. So this is the mass of chlorine. After we success to find the mass of zinc and mass of chlorine, so then we form a table. So the first row, uh, first column we are right now. What is the element zinc and chlorine and then what is the mass of the compound mass right of the unit gram just take from here mass of chlorine 0 0.2776 and then this is the mass of zinc 0 0.2582 then we found the number of mole of both elements okay don't forget right of the unit so compare these two which one has the smaller number of mole the answer is zinc so we compare to find the ratio of mole by comparing with the zinc element. So zinc will get 1 and then chlorine will get 2. So the simplest ratio of mole is 1 to 2. So the empirical formula is zinc chloride. So from here there are 5, take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each take equal to 2 marks. Same for here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6 points. So each mark, each correct answer will get 2 marks. So total here is 6. 6 times 2 equals to 12. That's why result 12 marks and then calculation 10 marks. Next, for the discussion total 10 marks, first of all, we need to comment. Okay, this, this answer is different among of you, uh, so it depends your result. Uh. So for this student, the theoretical formula is zinc, 
and two core right so the formula is zinc Cl2 but what he get is zinc and uh, two, one zinc and five core right so zinc Cl5 it doesn't matter if you get the wrong and wrong result uh, you just stay so it will get one mark for here then next is arrows and precaution step you have to try to think for the whole process what is the arrow so there is one question um, during pre-lab asking about select a false statement so the answer is D the compound should be heated at higher temperature no okay while we do well, for the heating process, right, we have to heat it slowly. Okay, zinc chloride is a hygroscopic hydro compound, yes. Okay, we cannot heat it to the point that it melts, yes. The experiment must be done in the fuel cupboard, yes. Okay, you try to think few questions for the arrow. The purity of zinc powder, the properties of zinc chloride, the reaction between zinc chloride and with hydrochloride, is it completed? And then what happened during the mist and heating process between zinc chloride with hydrochloric acid? And how about the cooling process? Okay, is there any errors happen during this few step? Okay, so you must include this kind of error in your lab report. Okay, for the precaution step, actually you can get some hints from the pre-lab question. So the first one is regarding about the reaction. We have to conduct it in the film cupboard and do not work near a fire source. Why? Because the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid will release hydrogen gas. So the wet hydrogen gas can cause explosion. Okay, another precaution step is about cooling process. Okay, we are not encouraged to wave the crucible and the zinc chloride while it's still hot because it will produce the unstable reading of the product being mess. Okay, the third precaution step you can mention why we have to heat the zinc chloride slowly because we have to ensure that does not splatter, the solution does not splatter during the heating process. Okay, the last part we have to answer the question. Okay, so these are the answer for the question. So again, actually it's repeated from the precaution step. Huh? So we are not wave while it is still hot. Why? Because it will produce unstable reading. And then the crucible must be covered. Why? Because during, uh, to avoid absorption of moisture. This is the properties of zinc chloride. It's a hygroscopic compound. Easy to absorb moist or water or vapor. Okay, the last exercise is write down the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid it will produce zinc chloride and hydrogen gas make sure that you balance the equation huh? okay the last part conclusion so conclusion is according to your objective so the synthesis of zinc chloride compound is by using zinc powder and hygroscopic uh, so hydrochloric acid good and then the formula of zinc chloride is depends on your result so if you get zinc cl5 you just take zinc cl5 because during discussion, you already explain why you get the wrong formula you need for zinc chloride. There are some errors. So it doesn't matter for you to state the wrong molecular formula. So experiment one lab report, full mark is 50%. So how many marks did you get? Okay, no worry, this one just a practice. Learn how to write a proper lab report. Okay, that's all for post lab experiment 1. Next, we are going to continue with pre lab experiment 2. Hope you all learned something. Thank you.